guy and free agents. Oh, is there anything more tempting in life than a free agent? I mean, you know you shouldn't do it as a club. You know you shouldn't really give them a ring as there's a reason they're sitting on their couch eating popcorn and Googling what it's like to eat mice for tea. But still, nobody can resist a bargain. I'm gonna take a look at every family club and find the one player who will be a free agent this summer who you have got to sign. I mean, you just have to. It's too good to be true. I mean, come on, these players cost less than a melted Fredo bar. Right, let's go. Arsenal vote for Zaha. Some people might call me insane for suggesting this, but am I the only one who still believes in Wilfred Zaha? Yes, Arsenal fans might balk giving a contract to a 30-year-old winger who spent 13 seasons of his life at Crystal Palace. But I don't care. The man is an insanely talented footballer. Unai Emery should have brought him to the Emirates in 2019, but really chose Nicolas Pepe instead. And he just turned out to be a fat tomato can. Right now, Zaha is linked with a big payday in Saudi Arabia. But I mean, there's a guy who's openly dreamt about playing in the Champions League. Um, I don't think he meant the Asian Champions League. Honestly, as a squad player to provide competition, Zaha would be a mega transfer buy. Aston Villa, Yeri Mina. Uh, okay, this one might seem weird, but Aston Villa need centre backs. And I know that Yerry Mina has barely played for everything this season. I mean, he was injured under Frank Lampard, and now Sean Dyche has let him rot like burnt banana skins on the bench to instead prioritise the centre back pairing made in Burnley. Ozzy, I know there were jokes that Dyche would bring in old boy Michael Keane back in from the cold, but I mean, I didn't think he'd actually do it. I thought he would have accepted now that Keane is about as much use as my grandma on a rugby pitch. Um, she would have. She beat the captain in the scrum, and so Mina, a colossal giant is only two inches smaller than Peter Crouch, and probably has a duck before entering a house. He's only 28, a former Barcelona centre back, and has over 80 Premier League appearances under his belt. I think under Emery, stick him into a back two with Diego Carlos next season, and well, considering Mina would cost less than the price of a hug, then no brainer. Form with Jesse Lingard. Okay, I know. I know Jesse Lingard is damaged goods. Nigel Farris picked him up on a one-year deal last summer. And honestly, I've seen decomposing mice show more hunger and fight than Lingard this year. This guy's been so anonymous and devoid of any sort of presence of life. I swear I was watching a Nicolas Cage film. But if Bournemouth can stay up this season, then just do it. Give Lingard a 200 thousand pound a week wage and just build a team around him. Instead of playing Route 1, one dimensional football next year, get the likes of Lingard and David Brooks to play as attacking midfielders in a 4-2-2-2. Just make Bournemouth fun to watch. I know, I know Lingard has been an uninspiring wet salmon in a far shirt. I know he's been a flop, but the guy still has talent. He's only 30, and only two years ago, he was a West Ham king. This guy is just being lost in the Forest squad this season. Like a small child in Tesco trying to find his mum. He thought he was arriving as their big marquee player. Nah, he's just one of 30 newbies. He probably didn't even learn everyone's name until November. But make him feel special, get him a with move, and I think he'll do well. Brentford, Alex Oxley chamberlain Again, I know Brentford fans probably won't like me suggesting that you sign an injury prone Alex Oxley Chamberlain. And why would you? I would imagine a skeleton is begging for mercy. Give his body an x ray, and it's probably like looking at Hans Moleman in the bath. Even this season, his hamstrings are clearly about as strong as Michael Serra at the gym. Um, he couldn't even lift a tissue without letting out a scream. But when fit, Oxley Chamberlain can be good. It was only this month he played nearly 20 minutes against Real Madrid. Nobody is going to pay him £150,000 a week wages. I know he lives in a millionaire bubble where he's married to a pop star, but surely he can't be that deluded to think that anyone will still continue to pay him that sort of cash. Brentford, just give him a £75,000 a week salary. Give him a living physio and, I don't know, massage his crotch with milk? I don't know how, but just do something to get Ox fit and he'll be a solid player. Better than Mikel Damsgaard anyway. Right to Lucas Moura. Okay, this is weird. Lucas Moura, the former Brazil wonder kid who Sir Alex Ferguson wanted to bring to Old Trafford. The man who should have a statue of St. Thomas Brown for scoring a legitimate Champions League semi-final hat-trick. So see him now wind up right in Hove Albion this summer. What? The club who used to get excited about Kazinga Lua Lua. This would be weird. And apparently he wants an 8.8 .8 million pound signing fee when he leaves Tottenham on a free. But Brighton, just pay the money. This isn't like Fulham signing William at 34, although he has been good. No, Mora only turns 31 in August. And I know his goal scoring stats at Tottenham have been steadily falling off a of map since 2019, but still, I reckon under Roberto De Zerbi, this guy would replace Leandro Trossard's void and be an absolute Brighton mess. Matoma on one wing, 
Mora on the other. Why not? Chelsea Adama Traore. Yeah, Chelsea were sniffing on Adama Traore when Antonio Conte was the coach in 2016. We've since discovered that the Wolves beefcake might be someone who, yeah, probably feasts on fully grown pigs after dark. Honestly, he probably drinks so many protein shakes, even his sneezes probably smell like steak. But yeah, he's also got hideous end product. However, Graham Potter loved playing Tarek Lamptey as a right wing back at Brighton because he was essentially fast. And that was it. In a 3-4-3, Traore could be a brilliant backup option for Reese James. I think he'd be a quality option to have on the bench. And his transfer fee would cost less than a two-pound cheese burger. He only earns 55 grand a week at Wolves. That is half of what Carney Chukamawenka earns at Chelsea. And he's probably yet to kiss a girl. Honestly, Traore would be a sensible buy. Anyway, quick interruption to let you know that this video is sponsored by Manscaped. Um, you know, those great people over there who are single-handedly responsible for you not terrifying single mums at the beach. I mean, come on, summer is coming up soon. Do you really want to be walking around in nothing but a speedo looking like a mini werewolf? No, you'd probably sooner rub sand in your eyes if the lifeguard even looks at you from the waist down. Oh, he will probably throw up in his hand. Or as a little girl drowns at sea. Oh, Christ, that was dark. Lads, the Manscaped Performance Package 4.0 has you covered. Inside this package of find the lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, weed whacker ear and nose hair trimmer, crop preserver ball deodorant, crop reviver toner, and a travel bag. The lawnmower 4.0 features a cutting edge ceramic blade to help produce grooming accidents, so your bathroom doesn't look like the shower seat from Psycho, and so yeah, you don't accidentally chop off your knob. The lawnmower 4.0 is a 7,000 RPM motor, a new multifunction on and off switch, and gives you the ability to turn the 4,000K LED spotlight on and off. Anyway, man's gonna give you everyone watching this channel a huge 20% off plus free shipping when you use the code IRISHGUY20. So go now, link in the description. Absolute legend. Anyway, back into the video. Crystal Palace, Ross Barkley. Yeah, Crystal Palace fans will hate the suggestion, but am I the only one who still believes in Ross Barkley? I don't think he's a Delhi Ali. I don't think he's a lost cause. No. He's on a one-year deal at Nice. And yes, his stats are poor, but he still played 19 times in League 1. And Nice... I've only lost one of the last 19 games. Ever since he played an hour in the defeat of PSG. He's not been great in France, but are you shocked? This guy barely speaks English, never mind French. He looks like he'd sooner wolf down a fish and chips than even dare to touch a croissant. Sorry to posh for him. I actually think Barkley was semi-decent during his loan spell at Villa Park two years ago. And at 29, just come back to London. Replace the Conor Gallagher hole at Sutter's Park. And Ozzy, I reckon... Barkley could be a sparkling talisman in midfield. This guy only five years ago said he had an ambition to become world class. I don't think he'll be like Ali, who's probably just eating cheeseburgers and skipping training to just go on celebrity Tinder in the bath. No, I think Barkley is still trying. There's still hope for him yet. Everton Daisha Kamada. This would be one hell of a sign. Daisha Kamada is a 26 year old Japanese winger who's out of contract at Eintracht Frankfurt in the summer. Yeah. He's got 13 goals and 5 assists this season. This man is an absolute electric spark. And after seeing what Mato has done at Brighton, then I think the Everton hierarchy would be stupid not to snap this guy up. I mean, he's going to the three consecutive Champions League matches this season. He might be out of Everton's reach. It is ambitious. But Everton need to at least try. Full of Matt Doherty. Matt Doherty's life confuses me. This guy has been coached by Diego Simeone, Antonio Conte, and Jose Mourinho. He's been managed by Nuno Santo at two different clubs. And yeah, he is just an unfashionable right back who spent... 10 years of his life at Molyneux and played for Hibernian and Barry. He has no business being in the company of these absolute world greats. It's be like me being asked to Rihanna's birthday party. Um, yeah, as soon as I turn up, the security will just assume I'm there to steal her TV. But Darty is on a weird six month deal and let it go. Um, He's played 12 minutes so far. Other than that, Simeone has just made him an Irish cheerleader on the bench. He won't be staying in Spain long. No, because this is equivalent to ignoring your Tinder date. Just spending the whole dinner just googling naked teddy bears on your phone. So go on, Marcus Silva. Bring Darty to Fulham. Make him your number one right back ahead of Kenny Tete. And... He'd be a great signing. Leeds Chris Morland. This is massively ambitious. But, but, but... If Leeds United stay up, then maybe, just maybe, Chris Smalling might want to return to the Premier League. Yeah, I know the man's currently got both Inter Milan and Juventus sniffing around his feet, as if he's got butter on his crotch. But, so? I remember when Ashley Young turned down a new deal at Inter Milan just to return to Villa Park. Tom Ince once said no to Inter Milan to instead join Hull. But similarly, if Smalling and his family want to return to England, then a move to Ellen Road to play for an actually ambitious top manager like, I don't know, 
and Pasta Keglo that I think a 33 year old smalling might be tempted by a three year contract. And Ozzy, what a signing this would be. Lester Hosomawar. Hosomawar is a funny fish. It only feels like two minutes ago he was being linked with the Mega Money switch from Leon to Arsenal. Yeah, that didn't happen. And instead, it was the two Samba boys, Bruno Gamares and Lucas Paqueta, who hoovered up all the attention at Leon. While Awar was sadly just linked with an embarrassing switch to either Crystal Palace or Forest. What happened, Hossem? It's like Mark Wahlberg having Paddy and Selma fight over him. Oh, but listen, Awar is a talented French international playmaker who's got wonderful technique and ability on the ball. If James Madison is sold this summer for Mega Bucks, then nip in to steal a war on a free transfer. It would be Brendan Rodgers' genius. I mean, the Leicester wage structure needs a refresh. Three of the top four highest earners at the club are over the age of 32. Whatever about Johnny Evans earning 100K a week? Who the hell negotiated 80,000 pounds a week for Ryan Bertrand when he's probably not the standard of public ball? So even when those four big earners move on in June, just, yeah, give a war a 150,000 pound a week wage and the man is yours? Liverpool Ilkay Kandogan. Man City fans are going to think that I'm a lunatic. Ilkay Kandogan, a silky, 32-year-old midfield baller at Man City. A man who's probably seen as a cup legend after his final day heroics last season. I've always thought that Kandogan was never really a Manchester City player. He's always been someone who should, yes, should, have been the face of the Jurgen Klopp era at Anfield. It just makes sense. He was a midfield pressing monster at Borussia Dortmund. He's already said Klopp is his father figure. I, uh, he's playing for the enemy. To me, Gundogan has always been a Liverpool brand of player. So to watch him at City, it does feel a little bit like looking at a pig wearing a Barbie dress. It is just weird to watch. But I mean, James Miller made this move in 2015. It does happen. And Liverpool need the fielders. Give Kandogan a £200,000 a week contract. And you know what? Get him ticking in the field with Thiago Alcantara. And suddenly, that's a scary double act. The technical ability between those two it very quickly make Jordan Henderson look like a walking sausage pie. Man City, Lionel Messi. It's Messi. Just do it. Please, Pep Guardiola. Just sweep in and actually sign Messi this time. Come on, the guy is umming and ahhing over whether or not to sign a new PSG deal. So please, just bring him to the Premier League so we can finally see him on match of the day. I mean, that's sticking him in a free roll behind Erling Haaland. I actually think the skin would melt off my face. Man United and Golo Kante. Manchester United fans might not actually like this one. And Golo Kante turns 32 tomorrow. And his body is absolutely ravaged by injuries. But, sure, he might not be able to get around the pitch like he used to. But nobody can tell me the defensive pairing of Casemiro and Kante would not be absolute rock solid trying to get past those two in the field. But we were like trying to wrestle a bull. They always like to prepare them into Kante. He's a happy little beaver who probably play the game for free. That he's too nice to ask for a lot of money in his contracts. That he's probably still a minimum wage. Uh, yeah, no. Nice guy Kante is on nearly £300,000 a week. He might look like a smiley little smurf. But make no mistake about it. He'd probably split in your hand if you offered him a pay cut. So Manchester United Listen, you pay Jaden Sancho £350,000 a week to offer Kante maybe £320,000 a week on a two-year deal and I genuinely think he moves to Old Trafford. And then that midfield partnership... Oh wow! Newcastle, Alex Ronaldo. Newcastle need a left back. Sure, they've got Matt Target, yes. But Eddie Howe looks like he's already grown bored of that toy. Instead, picking an absolute mountain like Dan Burn at left back. Solid defender, yes. But I'm sorry, his low center of gravity makes me want to bleed out my nose. Alex Ronaldo is an exciting left back of Benfica. Who, yeah, weirdly, is available on a free. Nottingham Forest, James Rodriguez. What? Don't look at me like that. Doesn't this seem like such a Nottingham Forest transfer? Tommy Rodriguez is only 31 years of age. Ow, ow. His career trajectory makes it seem like he's a 40 year old man. 90 caps for Colombia, and he's then just running away in Greece. Before that, he spent 13 games with Al Rayyan. You might think James is a total lost cause. Just a football crisp packet floating through the air. I mean, you all think Rodriguez is now a fat chunk of dog food, but no. Don't forget, when he first moved to Everton, he was utter class. Three goals and three assists in his first five games as the top he sat top of the league. Get him into Forest in the summer. Let him take Lingard's place in the squad. How they would tear it up with Brennan Johnson. And I actually think he is too good to fail at Forest on a free. He's only 30. Get his Colombian Real Madrid teammate Kendall Navas on the phone to sell him the club and... What a signing this would be. Southampton had a Benarfa. How is Hatton Benarfa still unemployed? Someone's got to help me out here. I get that at 36, he hasn't really lived up to his sickening world-class potential, but to not have any club at all? This man's dribbling ability is one of the greatest I've ever seen in my life. And yeah, he's been knocked by Lille a year ago. Southampton, just go out and bring him in. 
Now, Tottenham and Yuri Tielemans. Tottenham need to completely freshen up their team. And this one just seems like a no-brainer. I know Yuri Tielemans' former Leicester has been patchy. But on his day, when he's fit and motivated, one of the best box-to-box midfielders in the league. Go on, Tottenham. Bring him in on a free. Get him to put his foot on the ball and control the midfield. Get him to play in a 4-3-3 alongside Rodrigo Bentancur and... Ives Basuma, I guess. And I think he'd be one of the best free agent signings in the league. West Ham, Roberto Firmino. This might seem mental. West Ham actually getting their claws on Roberto Firmino. And surely he's lining up a move to a European club. But, lads, why not? If West Ham win the Conference League, they can offer Firmino Europa League football next year. He is on £180,000 a week, right? If David Sullivan agrees to pay him 200 grand a week and promises to build the team around him up front then I think he moves to London I mean lads this West Ham ownership offered Declan Rice 200,000 pounds a week in an 8 year contract give Firmino 4 years and I reckon he's yours Wolves Isco how has Isco wound up being 30 years old and unemployed make it make sense but seriously Julian Lopetegui pull some strings He's worked with Isco Real Madrid before, and uh, we all know the power of Jorge Mendes. This might not actually be as far-fetched as we think. Isco and Daniel Podent in the same midfield. I'm drooling on the floor. And I just want to, what do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. What free agent do you want to sign? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll talk to you in a while.